Hello, Assalamualaikum Tengok tak? Balik je kelas terus nak cakap depan kamera Macam tak ada kerja lain So hari ni kita akan cakap pasal this one topic Which is hydration is the key I sebenarnya terfikir pasal hydration is the key ni Sebab bila I tengok uh, I tengah baca something kot rasa I tengah baca pasal scars I tengah baca-baca lepas tu dia cakap Properly hydrate and moisturize saya baca pasal skin concern pores Dia pun cakap kena hydrate your skin Saya baca pasal uh, whitehead Dia cakap kena strengthen your skin barrier So macam saya terfikir Everything comes back to hydration Macam every skin concern you They, they all come back to hydration Unless if you are Diagnosed with fungal acne Fungal acne dia tak boleh over hydrate So saya terfikir waktu tu If you want to have a glowy skin, hydrate your skin. If you want to have less acne, hydrate your skin. The key will always come back to hydration. Sebab kalau hydration kita kurang, kita punya sebum production akan increase. Bila sebum production kita increase, dia boleh lead to clogged pores, acne and etc. I suka baca satu ayat ni yang I jumpa dekat Chemist Confession. Dia cakap, Moisturized skin is a healthy skin. If you can solve your problem of dry and dehydrated skin, All of the serum and treatment will work so much easier on you. So, apa maksud hydrate ni sebenarnya? Minum air masak banyak-banyak? Yes, kita memang kena minum air masak banyak-banyak. But that's not what I meant when I said hydration is the key. So, when it comes to hydration is the key, the first thing that we need to take into account is our cleanser. Our cleanser need to be gentle and low pH that doesn't strip up our skin barrier. I ada baca dekat satu skincare website, The Kellogg, dia cakap, One of the most common acne skin problem buat, dia suka cuci muka sampai kulit rasa kering dan ketat. Bila kulit kita rasa kering dan ketat, dia boleh lead to damage skin barrier. Dia boleh strip up our skin barrier. Sebab tu, it's only advisable to cleanse your face only two times a day. Dua kali sehari je. Tak boleh over cleanse sebab kalau tak, dia akan lead to damage skin barrier. So when it comes to hydrate, apa maksud hydration sebenarnya? Ingat hydration ni kita attract water to our skin. Kita tarik air di permukaan kulit kita. Contoh ingredients yang kita kena cari adalah humectants. Humectants ni dia attract water to our skin. So when it comes to uh, humectants, the most famous ingredients is hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid ni dia, dia boleh hold its moisture binding 1000 times its weight tau. Tapi ada orang dia allergic dengan hyaluronic acid. Kalau you rasa your skin allergic or tak boleh tolerate ni hyaluronic acid, always go to salt of hyaluronic acid which is sodium hyaluronate. Kalau perasan, Dekat ingredients, dia ada tulis hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid. Hydrolyzed hyaluronic acid tu maksudnya dia tukarkan hyaluronic acid tu to a smaller molecule weight. So, hyaluronic acid ni molekul dia besar. Dia jadi hydrolyzed, dia kecikkan molekul weight of hyaluronic acid. So, banyak tau contoh humectant ingredients macam glycerin, sodium PCA, algae extract, sorbitol. So, for me, uh, you guys boleh refer dekat my notes. I ada buat notes pasal humectant ingredients ni. So, bila kita dah tahu apa itu humectants, ingredients yang attract water to skin, so apa nak kita nak buat humectants ni, Mai? Humectants ni kalau boleh, kita cari dekat uh, ingredients dia dalam toner, sheet mask or serum. Sebab tu, I sangat-sangat suka Hada Labo Hydrating Lotion. Dia produk pertama yang I beli harga RM6 yang smaller size dulu and dia works perfectly fine for my skin tau. I tak allergy, it shows a good result to my skin. So kalau macam you guys nak cari hydrating toner, you guys boleh cari macam Hada Labo, Simple, Clairs, Bio Essence, Neutrogena, banyaklah contoh hydrating toner. Kalau macam uh, serum, you guys boleh cari serum yang ada concentration ingredients of hyaluronic acid. Contohnya The Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid. Tak pun kalau macam susah sangat nak cari produk to hydrate your skin, you guys boleh try sheet mask. Sheet mask. I suka advice orang Uh, so try sheet mask sebab for me sheet mask ni harga dia tak mahal sangat tau ada yang RM5, RM6 so kalau pakai sesuai kita boleh beli lagi kalau tak sesuai tak apa kita cari yang lain so kalau tak toner kadang-kadang mahal uh, serum pun kadang-kadang mahal kan so you can always look for another option which is sheet mask contoh sheet mask you guys boleh try macam my favorite sheet mask is Dr. Morita sheet mask you guys boleh try happy sleeping mask boleh try uh, hada labu sheet mask so banyak jenis sheet mask You guys cari ingredients yang ada kat dalam sheet mask tu. So, bila dah cakap pasal cleanser, hydrating products. So, the next step is moisturizer. When it comes to moisturizer, always look for moisturizer to repair your skin barrier. Sebelum tu, 
my apa beza hydrate and moisturize hydrate ni kita attract water to our skin kalau moisturize kita lock all the hydration into our skin sebab water evaporates easily and tolonglah jangan lupa pakai sunscreen sunscreen ni penting sebab kita nak protect our skin from harmful UV rays tak nak scar kita makin gelap tak nak pores makin besar so always wear sunscreen I sangat suka cakap pasal hydration because I experience it myself tau. I boleh tunjuk orang my face before I start buat hydrating routine and after I buat hydrating routine ni tau. I boleh tunjuk from first month, second month, third month, fourth month, fifth month, six month, seven months, eight months and continue. Sebab I start buat hydrating routine ni uh, beginning of 2018. So I guess that's all for my today's video. I hope my video sikit sebanyak boleh explain to you guys about hydration is the key. And I suka cakap pasal hydration because I experience it myself. So I guess that's all for today. I nak pergi kelas teks ni. Bye-bye.